Hi everyone, this is Arvin with GameTextures.com and in today's tutorial we're going to go over how to add more layers to our mixed material. So, so far we've created a bunch of material layers. We now have a basic material layer, a basic layered material, and we've added a background layer for our uh, material layer, uh, material layer material. So, so far we've got this as our background layer and that's showing up. So let's go ahead and add another material to the material stack by hitting on this plus sign. And for what that material actually is, let's just click on this drop down and pick one. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this capital building concrete. All right, that looks fine. And notice it just basically displays directly on top of the old material, kind of like a Photoshop layer stack. So if we click on this eye, you'll see that we see the layer underneath. If we click it on, we'll see the layer on top. This asset right here will be how we blend between these two layers, similar to our Photoshop mask. So let's go ahead and hit save. Let's close this. And now let's create a new blend layer. So if we go to material and textures, and we go to, to this material layer blend, we can just call this our vertex paint blend. Okay. And basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna drive the way these two blend with each other uh using a vertex paint a vertex color so let's go ahead and uh, add a vertex color node there we go and just to make it really simple i'm just going to grab the red channel and make that the alpha and then hit save all right now let's go to our mixed material and right here where it says blend asset let's click the down button and we're going to say hey let's use a vertex paint blend And we'll go ahead and hit save. And by default, you'll see nothing really happened. This is because there is no vertex color. Right now, the vertex colors are probably all white on these. So it's uh, showing this top layer. But if we go ahead and create a sphere object in our scene, right here, is it F? All right, there's our sphere object. And I'm gonna hit Alt-1, Alt-2. And you'll see here in the scene that this sphere object does have vertices, which is important if we're driving stuff with vertex color. What I'm gonna do now is apply this mixed material to it. There we go. And as you see, it's still that concrete that's showing up. But if I switch over to the brush and start painting with a vertex color, uh, we'll do red, right? You'll see at first nothing happens. This is because currently the vertex colors are all white, meaning they're all fully at one. So if we take a look here now and we switch color view mode to the red channel, you'll see that it's all red. So what I want to do is actually erase some of this. So I'm going to shrink my brush, shrink it some more. All right, and what I'm going to do is hold Control, I'm sorry, Shift, and basically paint some of that red out. And what you'll see now is when we switch this back to off, you'll see some of that uh, layer underneath showing through. All right, now here's the really awesome thing about, um, about these layered materials. So let's say this is great, we like it for this one, but we want to create a new one where instead of the background layer being this alien wall, it's actually, uh, let's say, um, our cathedral bricks. So all we'll have to do is let's duplicate this, right? And we'll call this mixed material O2. We'll open it up. And right here for our background layer, let's just switch this to our cathedral bricks.
go ahead and hit save. It's going to take a minute to compile. We'll close it. And now if we drag and drop this onto our object, you'll see that it easily, very easily swapped that background layer with our bricks. Whereas before, if we were doing something like this, we'd have to sit here and pick each texture channel and add it to our detail layer. I hope that helps out. Good luck, everybody, to the Epic Game Jam. I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys uh, create. If you use some of the game texture stuff, we'd love to see what you built with it. Um, please post in the forum or send us a direct message at gametextures.com or hop over to our Discord or Twitter. Uh, we'd love to see what you guys are building. Thank you guys so much. I hope this helps. And until next time, happy texturing.